We're here with uh, actors Ryan Pavey and William DeVry. Uh Would you please tell me when you first started to want to become an actor full time as your career? Go, go, got it. Um, <laughs> that's fairly recent, maybe past few years. Uh, I dabbled in like construction stuff pretty much my whole life. Um, and then I started doing modeling work somewhere between, I don't know, 20 and 25. And, fell into commercials and it was fun. No, I mean, I had a good time. It's a unique challenge to, I don't know, like identify your emotions and find ways to use them to, to paint a picture though. It's been a fun introspective journey. So I would say, I guess, I don't know, within the last five years or so, mm -hmm. you know, some combination of my own introspection and opportunities that have presented themselves have kind of painted it as a really attractive career path. So. I'm enjoying it. I mean, I feel really fortunate to have gotten to do the things that I've gotten to do. So. Right. Yeah, and you jumped into a front burner storyline and <laughs> became very popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been yeah, intense. Yeah. And William, I know you, your voice is uh, on the well, fritz, I, uh, but... It's, uh, you know, hopefully I'm getting it back. <clears throat> um, yeah, I got a bit of a late start, maybe just a little bit earlier than uh, Ryan, uh, you know, in my age, I should say. Uh, but yeah, I was taking business in school and... Uh, a buddy of mine just wanted to take some acting classes in Orlando, and uh, one thing led to another. Some agents approached me, started auditioning, started booking, and uh, yeah, like Ryan, it kind of became a viable thing. Uh, but I didn't want it to be like a celebrity thing. I wanted to work hard, and uh, I, I just sort of rooted out the best coaches that I could find wherever I was. I didn't want to dick around with, you know, people that just didn't know what they were doing mm -hmm. and so I sought out the best coaches and worked with them and just yeah carved out a career path that you know I've been like, fortunate enough to work pretty solidly for the last 20 years so I've been very uh, fortunate you know? yeah you have been working very consistently for that amount of time and done three soap operas uh, as well as many movies and, and a lot other of prime time yeah. yeah you know I've been, yeah it's been I've, I've been really lucky so I, I can't complain. Have you taught Ryan anything so he can have longevity in the business as well, or? No, Ryan, you know, I don't know. <laughs> CrossFit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stay in shape. But you know what? Uh, there's <clears throat> there's some guys that are young that you know if if they're in need of advice, they generally won't listen anyway. Mm -hmm. But Ryan, I would say, is not really a guy that needs advice. He. he that's a pretty good head on his shoulders. I mean, just hanging out with him, I can tell that he's not some you know, doofy young kid that, you know, uh, it's like, dude, you got a lot to learn. Like, I've never kind of thought that. So, you know, I mean. <laughs> his packs are talking. <laughs> I mean, even yesterday, I was kind of giving, giving him a hard time, but I used to be able to impersonate him. <laughs> when he first started on the yeah, show, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, he's, then I learned the static stare. Yeah, he's gotten really, uh, he's gotten better really quick. Which, listen, I've seen you know actors on shows for eight years that just really never improve. <laughs> so he's done a great job. Was it uh, intimidating to go to, into such a big role as your first major? Breakout. You know, I, I think maybe my greatest strength and my greatest weakness has been my ignorance through the whole process. Mm -hmm. I kind of don't, I'm not informed enough to really know sometimes the magnitude of things that I've gotten involved in. You know, I've gotten to work with people where they're like, do you know who this person is? And I'm like, no, I should Google them. You should probably Google them, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I, I mean, I'll put my foot in my mouth a couple of times, so it's a little embarrassing periodically, but that level of ignorance can kind of shield you sometimes against the nerves that might come up right. when these things happen. So, uh, intimidating? Maybe no. I mean, I, you get a little bit of nerve, but it's it's a good thing. It's exhilarating. It's it's. You know, I mean, we, we grind out forty pages a day sometimes. The yeah. technical mastery required to do the gig is incredibly challenging. And I've gotten to work with some really really great people that now, of course, after googling, I get back <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, I yeah. probably would have been really nervous if I knew uh, that. That's a good point. I think <laughs> uh, I think you know it's interesting. A lot of actors like to Google who they're working with. I think I might do it now. I probably never used to Google anybody because, like Ryan says, just the. Because they didn't used to have Google. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. when you started no, acting. You, can, I mean, you could still get on the internet, but. Um, you know, I, I, I just found like the, the ignorance was probably a little bit better so you don't work up the nerves, but 
Um, I think now the only people that I like to look up for is maybe uh, cast directors or directors. Um, and then once I'm working with somebody and get to know them personally, then I might look up uh, like an actor. But I think like Ryan, it's probably sometimes it's probably better not to get too far ahead of yourself. Yeah. Uh, I mean, plus. I can't comment with any expertise or anything like that in, with regards to that, but I feel like I probably won't change that. I feel like if I'm going to go and perform with somebody, I kind of just want to go based on what we've got during the daytime. I don't want to have the added weight of their resume and, and their IMDB and all this crap on my mind before we get started, because that's not the stuff that I want to think about. We're going to see today, you and I, I don't need to know your filmography to, to do it. Yeah, Let's well, just plus, do it. quite honestly, you know, by the time you get to that, you know, once you get to the point where you're working together, your peers, you know, you should, yeah. you know, Hopefully you're not intimidated or they don't try to, you know, intimidate you because you're just, you know, you're trying to do work together. So at that point, uh, you know, hopefully you're observing and learning, but... Well, it's a two-way street at that point, so... Yeah. 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 And you never know when you're going to be hung on a meat hook. He can help you with that or your oh, sister can need a transplant. Yeah. You can he, blow he your brains out. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm fighting and shooting and doing all sorts yeah. of crazy stuff. Yeah, you already know how to shoot the gun. You he just got to make sure you know how to aim it. I was hanging on a meat hook, so... <laughs> <laughs> And frozen. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to do That's this. That's it. Wow, that was quick. Well, we're gonna, <laughs> we got a tight ten, so. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks so much.